In this video, I want to quickly summarize what we have learned so far about the pre-rendering and data fetching feature in Next.js. We started off by understanding that pre-rendering refers to the process of generating HTML in advance, which results in better performance and SEO. Next.js by default pre-renders every page in our application. We then learned that Next.js supports two forms of pre-rendering, static generation and server-side rendering. Static generation is a method of pre-rendering where the HTML pages are generated at build time. Pages can be built once, cached by a CDN and served to clients almost instantly. It is the recommended method to pre-render pages whenever possible as it is the more performant of the two forms. An example would be a marketing site or a blogging site. For a normal page, you make use of getStaticProps function to fetch the data ahead of time. For a dynamic page, you also need the getStaticPaths function to let Next.js know of the possible values for the dynamic parameter to pre-render those pages. We also learned about the fallback key, its possible values of false, true, or blocking, and how they dictate the pre-rendering behavior for dynamic pages. One of the limitations of static generation is that the pages cannot be updated without a full rebuild. To help in that scenario, we learned about incremental static generation and the revalidate key. The ISR strategy is suitable for perhaps a documentation site or even an e-commerce site. We then had a look at server-side rendering, which is crucial if you need to fetch data at request time and also need to personalize data based on user information in the incoming request. With SSR, the data is fetched at request time. The HTML is then generated and sent to the browser because of which it is slower. A possible use case of SSR is a news listing page. We also learned about the get server side props function, which helps with SSR data fetching. Finally, we had a look at combining pre rendering with client side data fetching. We learned how to use the data fetched ahead of time as the initial data for the component which enables client-side data fetching as well. We also learned about shallow routing, which does not call server-side functions again, but helps with sharing and bookmarking filter data, and of course, SEO. With that, we come to the end of this section. Pre-rendering and data fetching is one of the most important pillars of Next.js, and I hope you now have a thorough understanding of the topic. Thank you all for watching. Please do make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.